Open meeting law and videotaped meetings. Hello. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's Kristen. Oh, Blame her. Hi. You're muted. If your meeting is videotaped, the open meeting okay. law requires you to advise open session meeting attendees as follows. Open session public meetings are subject to being recorded. Your image and your voice may be recorded. So, um, Claire Pond, uh, personnel committee is present. Sutarian and June Poland. Poland. You knew I was going to say beard. <laughs> okay. Whichever you wish me to be. That, that's me. okay. Um, Kristen is, is, is zooming present. in with us, I believe. And oh, good. Okay. Good evening. Yes, she is. Good evening. Hi, Kristen. How's everyone doing? Good. How are you doing? I think you're probably doing better than I am, okay. um, but I'm on the mend. Well, good, so. good, good. Um, so the first item on the agenda is the minutes of the meeting, and that would be the minutes of, let's see, what was the last meeting? October, October 19th. And I sent those out. Did you yep. see anything that you... No, I make a motion to accept the minutes as written. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Claire Pond. Nineteen twenty-two. Right. The next item of business is the PAFs. Do we have any? Jim? I don't. I don't have any of them. Okay. I, I accidentally put them all in Kristen's box, so. Okay. Kristen has them. We'll blame her. All right. right. That would be the yeah. logical thing to do. <laughs> okay. That's all right. We'll wait till next time. Um, has the new highway person started though? Um, no, not yet, but they have accepted that they will, and I think they said November 16th. Does that sound right? 16th? Yeah. I think okay. so. Um, and I did today receive a letter of the res uh, retirement of the treasurer. Oh, but okay. But it won't be until February that was received today. Okay. And that is giving us enough time so we can yeah. start looking. Yeah, so that's February 1st? Um, no. Third, February third, two three, okay, yeah. twenty yeah. twenty three. Wow, two three twenty three. Wow. Um, okay, good. And they've started working on the fire chief. Fire chief is in the process. Um, highway still has one more opening that they need to fill. I believe the police are still down, but they have people in the academy, so that will eventually right. happen. Those two are coming. Um, Trying to think, I think. I think that's it. Is there anybody else you can think of, Kristen? I don't think so. I think that's it. I think you cover it. Good. I think. Okay. That sounds good. Great. Okay. Uh, Hopefully not June after she's had to step in for me. Oh, geez. <laughs> um, so position vacancies and stat anything else on that that we need to or advertising nothing. I don't think so at okay. this time. All right. Great. So moving ahead. Budget information. So, we want to talk a little bit about the cost of living adjustment that um, most uh, towns are facing right now. I did go on and look quickly at what the new posted things were this yeah. just before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it looks like most of them are, are three, two, three. Yeah. Um, there was one, Acremont. I don't even know who the heck that is. But that one there is the highest one at 4.7. Their right. highway is getting a 3.9, but that's the only one that's yeah. totally yeah. not. Um, most of them are twos, two and a half, Franklin, uh, Lemonster and Lincoln are all two and a half. North Andover and Reading are one and one and a half. Foxborough is two, Drake it is three. Um, Dighton is two, and Maynard is two, Sudbury two. Some of those weren't on there when I looked yesterday, right. the um, other day. Yeah, Boylston is three, uh, yes. Bourne is two, yeah. and Barry is three. The cool. average with just the people who have put information in comes to 2.32. Yes, that's what that's what mm -hmm. we got for the average when we were looking yeah. at it. Yeah. So. If I can add, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear me. Yes, yeah. yes, we can. Oh, okay. I was just going to add a little bit of context, too, in some of the work I was doing before I left. Um, 
I'm sure you've all heard too, Social Security is doing a cost of living adjustment for the first time um, of 8.7%. And I looked into what the state was doing. And they're actually, for retirees, uh, doing a 5% COLA, um, which is very interesting as well. Um, I, I think it would be challenging, if not prudent, to attempt to match any of those. But I was just curious on kind of a broader picture what agencies were doing when you look at that consumer price index that has, it, it is alarmingly high. It um, is. And I had spoken briefly to June early. That's not fair. What did it go Come on, on, Kristen. Hello? You there? Being out the budget as being a two and a half yard acre. Okay, wait a minute, Kristen. Hang on, Kristen. We're losing you here. Hello? My back? There you go. Okay. Well, in, in a nutshell, I said that I, given all the factors and considering that the budget um, recommendation that I will be giving to the select board is a two and a half percent increase um, on the expenditure on the expenditure side. Um, I think if, you know my recommendation would be to do two and a half percent on the personnel side as well. But that is obviously for you all to decide. That's well, I think that um, given that, um, w you know, I had reviewed the different towns and everything, and that we kind of talked about it a little bit at our last meeting, I think that's a, a pretty fair um, recommendation to make, Kristen, um, Sue. Hi. I think that's that's fair right now, and like we said before, we do have a few people that we want to do merit raises, and we don't want to have the budget go up that much. That stifles right. the. Right. I think anything above that, you're cutting into, you know, not only that opportunity, but also where are we going to cut expenses to offset that two and a half. Right. And I, I mean, sorry, more than two and a half. Right? right. And I didn't see the selectmen's meeting last night, but I'm not sure how much the tax bill was going up because of the assessing office. I'd hate to see us raise it even more for the taxpayers. Well, we're lucky. There's only, I think there's only one or two people that work for the town that live in the town and pay taxes. <laughs> Seriously. That's, yeah, there is only a few now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there's only like two or three people. Uh, but I think they said 700. 600, 700? It, it, it varies. The average, but we have to take into consideration that there are a major fluctuations in it. Yeah. There are some people who are actually going to get a dollar back. Wow. There are some people that it's only going to go up 100 bucks, yeah. 200, 300 dollars. Mm -hmm. But that average also includes new new, um, not new growth, new growth, new residents that have never paid a tax bill that are coming in at, you know, over $10,000. So right. that, that yep. $600 is an average yep. of all of those. But the bad part about it is, is that the, um, the value has shifted because the, um, assessed values have gone on, up 20%. Um, the re the commercial has gone really low. So the burden is shifting, so that all the tax dollars are being more on residents than it is on the commercial. Yeah. Um, and Molly had made a comment that when she checked the um, new growth for this year, the values have already gone up another 15%. So we're already sitting at 15% of values going up by 15% for next year. So the, if the commercial continues to go the way, it could be a higher jump for next year too. So. Yeah. I mean, I'm not telling you which way to go, but... No, or right. we could be in a huge problem <coughs> too next year. Yeah, we do have a number we could have a recession budget line time. item. There are budget line items that we're finding that are out, uh, are very short on money, okay. based to all the real severe cuts that we did the last couple of years. Yeah. Right. is starting to come back now because services are starting to be rendered for whether it's legal or consulting yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So it's... Um, okay. 
I think 2.5 sounds fair for yeah. the employees because I do want to make sure we do give it to our employees. They deserve it. They've worked hard. But it's also right. good for the town. Yeah. Fair for the town. I think we need to do it to, number one, to keep our, our wage ranges moving, to mm -hmm. retain, like Sue said, yes. to attract. Um, I think that's really important. Do you need, you need a vote of us, right, from us, right? Um, we would like to have a vote yeah. from you so that it can yeah. be presented to the select board okay. so they can vote next week yeah. so we can then do the Budget stuff. Um, if you're comfortable with that. Yeah. Do you want to make the motion? Make a motion that we set the COLA rate for this budget year at 2.5. And support the town administrator. And support the town administrator in her presentation to the select board. Okay. Right. So there being no discussion, because there's only the two of us. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, so we we approve and we voted um, uh, unanimously to support your recommendation of 2.5 percent um, cola increase that you would present to the board of so, uh, to the SOG board. Great, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. What other things? Uh, do we need to talk oh, about what were the? No, we're still here. We're thinking. Oh, okay, I couldn't Sorry. Tell. <laughs> you don't okay. get you don't get to see the little hourglass when it's thinking. Uh, <laughs> gotcha. Once I'll in a while, we think. So, <laughs> what were the policies? Do we want to even bother doing those? I know I June's think June's got to go to our next meeting. I think we have to wait until every you know it'd be good to wait till Kristen's here so we can get them done. Yeah, and I was, think so too. But I really think we have to get to work on them. Yeah, because they've been right. This I think, has been a long process, yeah. and, and I think we're still going to have to do one more round um, once all of the Me too. the adjustments and things have been made to actually see it without. Do you any have an iPhone too? I do. Oh. No, I think we have to just yeah. know, plan on it for the next meeting, or yeah. like we have in the past, come up with a a meeting where that's all we do. I was going to say, you may. Yeah. I don't know if you want to try to see if we can find another night too because now finance committee is going to start meeting right, on right. Wednesday that's nights right too, that's so, right yeah um, yeah so maybe if you and Kristen when Kristen gets back and feels better and the two of you can come up with some available nights because Claire and I seem pretty yeah. flexible yeah the only ones I really can't do is Monday nights and you guys have the select, select board, board anyway and Kevin's yeah. got his assessors yeah. so that's really the right. only night that's hard for me so uh, okay I think Tuesdays seem more open for some reason for me. I don't know if that's the same for us. Okay. Else. Yeah, we don't want you here every single night of the week either. That oh, would... I usually am anyways, but yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, Tuesdays would be great. And yeah. maybe if we just said this is what we're going to do and really okay. worked on them. Okay. Because they still have to go through legal. They still have to go through the select board. Yep, and then uh, I don't know. I think... I don't know how we have to vote this round if it has to can, go to town. Can we just go over which ones we have still have to do? Is it the these this last page I here think, where yep. it says reviews, updates still needed? Yep. So we need... Uh, well, the policies don't need to go to town meeting, June. I don't think so. Bylaws think the, have the, to go. The bylaws that bylaws, we voted. Right. So I think we're all set there. So yes. it is just the selectmen and then... Okay. Um, I think we have to do a hearing, right? Select board, a hearing and we were going to have legal go through them when we get done. Yeah. So personnel records, training, education, education and training, we wanted to try and put something together for that, right? Yeah. Um, let me, like I said, I, I, I need to pull the one that we have for my employer because I think it might be helpful, plus the um, former language that we had in the old. Mm -hmm. So perhaps we could kind of meld those together. Um, and lead. also think about um, what you think would be a fair dollar amount if we had people. Yes. Um, if we're reimbursing people for training, how yep. much we would consider yep. to have them sign on for yep. and repay. Okay. Uh, now the leave benefits 
Are we all set with that? I think we finished um, that, right? I think we finished. The only thing that we had to relook at was, I think it was the family members that were. Yeah. I think it's more of a, a to just fine tune it. Okay. Yeah. Because I think we had missed somebody and I can't remember which it was, but. Okay. Um, so prevention of discrimination and, non -har and harassment in the workplace still to be reviewed and updated. Did she give us information about that, like a separate policy for that, or? Um, I don't know. I haven't had a I'll chance take to a look, look in the actual. Yeah. So uh, these, these are the ones. And then. Um, I think there is some here. I think the, the major one on that is that we actually are going to have, a, I think, a harassment form. Okay. That we can fill out now versus before um, there wasn't a form. Mm -hmm. And this is, uh, it's something that we may need to look at whether or not we have extra people or do we just have it as the town administrator as the harassment person. Okay. Um, versus having two others or having an alternate somehow. Okay. And then. And I have some good forms too. Um, I may have mentioned the last meeting, not forms, I'm sorry, policies. Okay. I know when we went through there were a couple policies towards the end we needed to, I think, actually create. Um, and I can, I still have that on my to-do list to pull some of those together. Okay. And then there was computer technology, internet, and social media. I thought we did quite a bit of that, didn't we? I think we did mm -hmm. some, but I think it also had to go to our IT people because I think it's a yearly okay. sign-off involved in that, too. Um, I thought we did our part, and we were going to send the rest to the... IT people, yep. I think, to, to look at. Right. Okay. And then discipline, dispute resolution, and grievance. We still need to review that one. And also the uh, the personal improvement plan. Yeah, the to look at, Yeah, to look at that. Yeah, we did do that last week, right? Yeah. Um, I thought we did, but I, did, I didn't know if it was a, a formal. I put it in the minutes that I think we it did, was. that okay. we approved it with, there were minor revisions about putting some extra lines here and less lines right. there. Right, okay, yep. we All approved right. that. Um, so then we would have to make sure that we got the review of whatever Kristen had made maybe as changes. Yep. To double check on. Yep, okay. Red line, that's yep. what I was looking for. Red line, yep. I figured if I talked long enough it would. And then re recruitment different. procedures, Appendix A. Is that going to be part of the policies, is it more where it says recruitment would be more like along the lines of the position would be uh, the manager would submit a request to have, have this position replaced or posted and then you post it for this many days and then you start screening up. Is that what that means when it says recruitment procedures? Um, we actually, there is an appendix A that goes over that. Oh, okay. All right. Um, in here. But I, I would suggest if we could figure out a way to do it, if we could get a checklist for the department heads, because yep. right now it's very yep. boring to them. Yep. yep. Um, so that I think would be helpful as far, and it would be helpful for all of us um, as far be, as what the actual Yeah, there should be a process. checklist for recruitment and there should be a yep. checklist for, for uh, separation. Or even a, uh, something so that like they notify the TA when there's an opening or they would like to yep. adjust something or... Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. And Kristen, anything that you've used in your former work life, if you think that you that it worked really well for your team, we're more than happy to take a yes. look at anything, believe me, without having to reinvent the wheel, or, you know? Absolutely. So anything that you can suggest or recommend, or we're happy to sure. take a look at that. I can definitely pull some things together once budget season is a little bit quieter, hopefully for the next time we meet. Yeah, okay, good, good. So we will schedule a different night than our regular meeting night to do the policies then. Do you have a night in mind, do you think? 
I don't know if this is on the new phone or whether it's still in here. We'll find out. I actually don't think, but I mean, I don't know if you wanted to um, still meet, but finance doesn't look like they're meeting on the 16th, or I don't know if that's changed. No, they, they did post the... It no, was, they did post that. It would still so. be good to... More specified. Well, the 15th work? The 15th doesn't work because I have to come from Worcester and that's not until 5 o'clock. And by the time I. So. Um, we could do next week, the 8th, and just get it done. Yeah, we could do the 8th if you wanted to. How were you on the 8th, Kristen? Um, I just don't know how much I'll have ready for them. Um, I'm, I'm okay. all budget right now. That's, yeah. Um, you want to try I for. I just don't want. Oh, sorry, go ahead. You want to try for the 22nd instead? Is that, are you going to be around soon? Are you away? Or? I mean, that would be great. It would give me a little bit of time to get caught up from okay. the Let's honeymoon and the after impact of the honeymoon, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay. Um, I hate to put it off for you guys, but um, if that's okay with you, that would work for me. All right. Are you good with 6.30 or do you want to do earlier? Because I think 6.30 used to be for Tommy, right? Yeah, pretty much. You want to do six? Let's do okay. six. Are you good with six, Kristen? Six o'clock, sure. Okay. November 22nd at six. Got it. And then we're finish this. And that, I just want it done. We're going to finish this. I like your positivity. We are going to. We Don't. are. Okay. And anything, I can make a motion else? to adjourn. Okay. So moved. Aye. Aye. So what time it is?